And here we go. Jax to be tested. There's so many Glocks in front of him. He'll be taken out. Up to Nexter and Hunter now as they lie in wait. Okay. First Blood does make things a bit more difficult for the CT. You can see the passive stance and quite the opposite for FaZe. They're ready to dance the dance. But look at Hunter. Backs are turned. Oh no, the precision. He couldn't maintain it for Brokey. Puts them into a very extreme disadvantage. There's very little that Nexa can say about this one. An unarmored body, and he's already gone down. From one shot to the head, Amanek trying to claw something back, keep it respectable, retrieves the kit and the smoke. So there is something to be said about this one. We'll see what he can do with it. He'll have to smoke the bomb and defuse and hope they don't take him down straight away, but they're going to start making their way. And as soon as they hit that smoke bloom, they're going to start coordinating their way towards the C4. It's not a great oh. smoke, but it's a great shot. I have to say, Amanek now with a chance to defuse it is going for it. Takes his self off the bomb and it will be rain. There wouldn't be a flash. He's going to do this drive. And Cold Sarah goes down. Big frag. Yeah, they're more than happy to watch that clock go down and be planting in the very closing stages. Looks like Kenny's not going to let them into the site. Olof decides he's coming in anyway. He's taken down Jax. A flash looks positive, but rain. He gets shut down by Nex. So the trades do continue, and that puts favor for FaZe, at least if that bomb could go down. Brokey might give it a go, but he's going to get hunted down. Oh. Kenny finds his second of the round, and the double ops are maintained as well. That waits on the other side. Oh, God. Oh, oh he gets him. Hunter v. Nico. That's one for his tally. They, uh, they, they that's a really Windows good smoke, point. But that's the go-to strategy yeah. that uh, Crazy in the past would use with Hunter to be able to get a lot of access. Molotovs will burn him down a little bit, but the smoke will save the day. But Olaf will find the gap right now. And the vent not being broken, we've, you heard us talking about this. It's the early warning oh. system. And he can get Jax. There's nothing Hunter can do other than try and hold the line. Olaf's taking the jewel, does good damage. And now next... Oh! oh. Unchecked, but Brokey with the reaction shot. He's no. got another. He's keeping FaZe in this. FaZe had have managed to run the way oh back God. into this one. A freebie for Olof Meister. And that's going to be one of the orbs removed now. With their money so broken here, they just can't really justify it. The fact they've got an orb in Kenny S, he's got 3k as well. He can actually drop an M4 going into the next round. He did take a lot of damage early towards middle on both Kenny and Hunter. It looks like they want to potentially pounce on to be. Remember, he's no armor. No armor, and he's still hitting shots. That was the bomb as well, spotted. Will be scooped up by Cold Zera. Rain's already gone, but what just happened in middle? Nico just blows this round up. Double <laughs> kill, and well, it's over. That's it. Well, he was sitting anti flash. Yeah. Right? He was looking into the wall. He had a teammate covering across for him in case of a push. He will greet one right now. Nice trade. Yeah, well played by Hunter to get something out of that. There were three players roughly ready for that. He's ready for it. Oh, oh no. maybe he's not. Oh, oh, the worst way to go. A little look away. Amanek cannot believe his luck. Even around when he didn't start with it, he gets the double orp he so craves. Could be enough now. This is one of these rounds for FaZe. 25 seconds remain. Up against double orps, Desert Eagles, and Kenny S. He knows that's not enough. He needs to keep swinging and trying to apply pressure. Takes down all of my stat, leaving poor and cold Zera. Surely nothing to be said about this one. And G2 posting their second round. Looking at that current time. So it was just a little bit unfortunate, but they did put the brakes on too long, expecting G2 just to respect them. But this is a little bit quicker. And Hunter's ready. Does get traded as Nico. Surely you're not going to be expecting a second right there. But oh, the flash is enough. It slows Nexa down and he'll actually refresh the smoke. And Olaf's just opened up B. Look at it. Knife out. He knows Amanek was solo. Yeah. He knows he had the AWP. And just like that, the, the strategy, whatever it was, is thrown out the window. Someone screaming B. Well, he does know the incendiary's coming, so he'll be aware of it. And Kenny S should be able to take him out here. That's wild. Nexa absolutely destroyed in the window, and that could be enough to win the round on its own. <sighs> well, this is going to be the aggressive CT push with the Astralis smoke top of middle, a Molotov to its side as well, and Nico takes a nade to the face. Olof Meister pull it to the chest. So there's clearly not going to be too much of a warning for this one since there's three in Palace. No smokes flying over, more of a contact play. Yeah, the super works out for them. They could have, they're close to the A ramp, they're inside it. If they retreat with their knives out, they could be in a lot of trouble here. Both CTs waiting at A ramp, but it's going to work out quite nicely. Dexter and Jack's chiming in, but it is going to be a three on two. Rain finds a bit of wiggle room here. Is that going to be enough? Jax doesn't seem to think that he's going to swing and presumably take him down, if not Hunter. That should be enough for the round. Nico hasn't quite announced his presence in Palace yet. Hunter's staring at him and ooh, went for the quick scope. Another one for the Hunter tally. 
Who will blink first? Oh, they're pushing. They're flashing and pushing. And Reigns waiting on the other side, but the flash was good. He was blinded by Jax. Nico equalizes. He was sitting at the top of middle, and he's managed to keep it 3v3 despite their best efforts early. Advantage for the T side. Typically, look at Coldzera. He's trying to find space here, and he will. If he continues this walk, Amanek's not going to be ready for this. He's got past the first window, at least. Amanek. Oh, he averts his gaze. This could be problematic. He does look back. Didn't catch Nico, but luckily he didn't spot him either. It's going to be a three versus two. Brokey pulls one back. Amanek not really sure where to look. And there's a team that's already snuck past. He's actually got towards the kitchen, I believe. So, Cold Zera, he should be able to win the round off this. With 30 seconds, only needs to find a quick kill. He's confirmed the kitchen is clear. Going to bring the bomb through. What is he spot Amanek, though? Yes, he will. Oh, it's not a clean kill. Makes up for it, though. Yeah, it's a hard shot to hit at range with the Galil, but does do so. And Brokey will convert it before the bomb can go down. FaZe will take nine. One frag, be a little bit more nimble on the bomb side. They're not really falling for the orb. But still, G2 will make the first. They've got absolutely no idea this has happened. And Jax, under a lot of pressure, and receives a lot of lead, but still not the cleanest of kills. Olaf Meister will be dropped. 45 seconds, there's absolutely no rush here, but ooh, nice. He evades the Molotov and actually catches Brokey. Kenny's doing it all. Three kills from the French orb, four. He wants the ace, Rain refuses, and now he's got a clutch of his own ooh. invention. He can't find it. 11 to four, Kenny S secures the fourth for his squad. 2.98, okay, so FaZe Clan given a heavy edge by GG.bet, but we're off to see two smokes flying through the sky on the T-Pistol. Yeah, there's smoke towards the CT connector from T-Spawn. And of course at the window as well. So they're going for a fast B split here. Two players ready and waiting. That's Cold Zero at the USP. He'll be joined by Olaf Meister. He's got the diffuse gear hiding in the van right now. Lovely oh. shots. He's making this work. Yeah, just sitting and taking his time with the shots as well. He took an extra second to adjust his aim. And Olaf Cold does it as well. Between the two of them, that's all they need. B site defended, 12 secured. The end. He's got a suspicion. They fire some bullets and push right through. Kenny S takes some initiative. And there's two opening frags. Amanek from Palace. He's about to get very, very hot and bothered. It's cold. But back turned. Nexa, he adjusts accordingly. Brokey Scout's not going to get him far either. And this quote-unquote bonus round of sorts is going awry. Good frag from Olaf to keep the numbers level. Brokey and his movement suggest it will be a save eventually. 40 seconds on the clock. So this does look to be, if Hunter gets the pick, the push towards A. Brokey and Nico have the crossfire. They're flashed, but he can still start pulling the trigger. One, two, maybe even a third. Reigns the one to take it. Double kill between them both. Walking towards B, and to be fair to them, that wouldn't be the bad call. Cold Zera playing the off angle. They flash. Oh, he knows. What can he find? They line up. Double kill. Nearly the triple as well. Not bad at all. Oh, Returning from where he was spotted, he's going to be a, a two-pronged assault. And Amanex made sure that Olaf's eliminated. Upgrade for Nico, though, as he continues his advance. Brokey Zorps actually found one on the retake. Jack standing his ground. Molotov down. There's so little time. They need to get onto the site now. Nico's trying. Held at bay by Nexa. And they've done it. G2 with just pistols will take this round. You wouldn't believe it. It's worked out for them. The bomb will go off, though. And Nexa will not be saving the AWP. Kenny has looking for the cross, but... Grenades land, and they manage to get close towards the A-Ram position. So they want to get any further forward. Kenny does. He doesn't miss. One minute remaining. G2 with four players outside this A-bomb site. Have to get past Brokey first. You can see he's not really sure where to position himself. Waiting towards CD spawn. Doesn't nail the first shot. Jax will take care of that. And Nico needs at least two. Not going to get anything. G2, I've guaranteed the round. That's over. Oh very dear. simple approach, but very yeah. effective. Very, very simple. Ends on A. And the frags come in. Kenny getting that opener as well was just the start. That's the most important duel of this map so far for him, and he just gets caught by Amanek. Reigns bring in the aggression, and another opening but death. They Perfect oh, flash. flash. Perfect He's <laughs> just flash. like, please don't challenge. Oh, and then the support of flame. And then, oh, Kenny, bye-bye. Does go back and forth, and... Surely not the B-side's not over. They'll have no money as well, boys. If they lose this round, it's a four versus two. But there is a kill back. Brokey he keeps the dream this. alive. Another kill. Oh, all off. Try again. Gets away with it. Two on two. There's a world. 
Certainly is, but Brokey, he's looking a little uncomfortable in this transition. I think he realizes A is their target. Jax is hunting him down. Close quarter zorping. Nerve-wracking stuff. And he does oh. take the bomb down, but Jax still standing. Oh. Olof connects, and FaZe Clan break their silence off the back of the Swede on the AWP. Woo. They've saved the money. They're, they're playing for the next round. Yeah, hoping they can close it out now if possible. It's still... Yeah, the uh, phase mathematicians. It's a new one for them. At, at least at this time, they get a, they get two bites of the cherry, right? Because they've got an open deagle. They can definitely still win that round. But they've saved enough money to have a full gun round for number 30. That's the most important one. They'd rather have two goes with a weaker buy and then a full buy and lose it in that sense instead of two really weak buys being brought out. Kenny is just picking apart the A side. The fight he took on Rain was absurd. And he's only gone and got a second one now as well. So this could be Brokey's chance. Oh, Jax gets away, Scar 3, gives him the fight again, a tag, expecting a second challenge, oh, no. and oh, Brody does hit a spectacular shot, the gap's being closed, and he's trying to run, oh no, Nico, how does he miss that? He never misses Deagle shots like this, Kenny, Jax is low as well, Brokey's gonna fall, this does look like this one's gone tumbling down, Nico desperate to find what he couldn't before, but Kenny gets right, away, foul. Olof, however, only the one. Well, Nico, only a Desert Eagle here. If he gets the AWP of Kenny, that's great. That's more like it from Nico. And that will save the AWP at least. So something to work with going to that next round. <laughs> Bit of a stalemate here. But the bomb is outside the eight bomb sites on the back of Nexity. the in-game leader. Joined by Jax, the blunt object. Oh, this standoff. <laughs> it is down at the peak of tension. It is. And Rain makes the sound cue. They go through that. Jax might try, and he gets the frag. No, Rain's gone, but Brokey keeps it level. Brokey's gone, though, because Jax has a let go of W, and Amonex got another OT, OT. <laughs> Cold Zera, he oh. maybe wants to finish this one in regulation. Just they, the first. They still can, Alex. In a three versus two, the bomb's not down yet. He's beating the utility towards connecting. They might not be aware of his presence towards the steps right now. They do have kits. They have a smoke as well, but they need to find at least one kill before they can start the sequence of the retake. Kind of hinging on Cold Zera, but Jax is playing this so bad. <laughs> Jiggle does find one. Flashes and all of that utility pulled out of them. Kit on Cold. Olaf closing the gap. The flashes are bad, and Olaf wins the first duel. Now they've got to solve this puzzle quick. Nex is in a position to stop that defuse. Nex can just play around it, using that smoke to his advantage. Bullets are connecting, but Nex is the one to take us to overtime. Kenny has looks towards middle, but challenges towards B. Amanek will fall back. Yeah, way back, actually. Completely concedes the site. More Molotovs to lock him out, but oh, Brokey. You've been good. You get a little too peaky. Does get punished. Amanek, however, does go down to wall off, so we keep it 4v4. Crossing to the bench costs Rain the majority of his life. Kenny flicking a hit. Kenny has a molly for his position here. He just has to be able to line it up. Yeah. Is that going to be possible, though? Oh. Jack certainly seems to think so. What a brilliant shot that was. Incendiary down towards the bomb site. This is going to be their moving towards it now. GT are going for it. Jack's coming in from short. The bomb's halfway gone. This next kill, very important indeed. Hunter will find it. Cold Zero. They know where he is. He's low. It's and so now low. Rain is just the last player remaining. Going to get the defuse going. Next, they will check the position, get they've the defuse it. in. And they've got map points from 11-4 down. They've come all the way back in overtime here. They have two lives to actually close this map out. Unbelievable. You never wrote it down. We've never seen that before, that sort of scoreline. That sort of matchup as well. Kenny S looking to close things out here. A couple of ambitious shots. One of them will land. Nico answers back though. Four versus four. Technically favors FaZe Clan. And they're going to commit towards B. They're descending it. Amanek, he could get overwhelmed here, but he's not opting to fall out of the site. Now lying in wait on the bench. Kirby taught us how effective it can be, but the Molotovs forced him out. 30 HP, a bullet will do, and it's found by Olof. So now numbers continued and extended for FaZe Clan. Four versus three. Bomb will tuck Brokey into the site, and he could get into a little bit of a spot of bother. Nice work from Hunter on the retake, and another from Hunter. Finally caught by Cold. All on to Jax now for G2. He can close it out right here. All he needs is one more frag, and he knows where Olof is. Molotov, HE, he's trying to burn him out of position, but I think Olof might have caught him off guard here. He does. The reposition saves him, and a triple kill from Olof keeps FaZe in the game. Some of the big names of FaZe Clan, they've dipped on off here. I feel like with the pressure gets higher, the in-game leader of Nico, his form will drop off. If they're high-flying and looking great, sure, it's going to work out for them, but anything but here in this opening sequence. But they have spotted two players towards the underpass. Need to try and flush them out if possible. For me, that suggests they need to try and go to A quickly, but the bomb is going for T-spawn, so they won't be able to pounce on this opportunity. 
But yep. they know they've locked the CTs out. It was Nexa 2, so that information is huge right now for FaZe. And you can see that's where they want to end up. They're just limping out onto the site here. Not too much utility. This could be everything. Nexa's position, yeah, I think this is perfect. Rain hears the steps, he may be baited into the swing, gets flashed in, and there's the trade! No, it's not! Finally! Rain finds the phase double, and we're looking like another overtime here. Hunter and Nexa. They've done more than this before, and already Hunter's found one. Nico's gone, another one in the Battle of the Kovac. All the incendiary. Ooh, that would have been promising. He's got a nade as well, that's gonna that's land right on the top pocket of Rain. No, no it's not! Ooh, damage! A single point. The, the flame, good. though. Not known to be an AWP old Rain. And he's got him. Burned down. Another oh. incendiary coming in. Broke, he needs to take the fight, but he's from CT. Finally, Hunter is shut down. He did so much already. Nexa to clutch. He's running out of time. He does have a smoke. That's pretty much the only chance he's got. A fake, hoping to draw Coldzera out of his hidey hole. And he has. Hits the shot, but no more it. time. He's going to just accept this one's oh. gone. Brokey to secure it. And we're off to overtime number two. Can he has to strike first? He's at a connector position, looking for the cross. He normally nails this shot. Today is no different. Rain will go down once again. Look at this forward stack of CTs. First they went underpass together, and now they're going ramp as a pair. Well, they've got the opening advantage here. Broke you with the orb. Might not be ready for this one. I take it back. He's more than ready. And now he has to deal with the low HP in front of him. Down to ATA, and he has got a lot of problems here. He's got the bomb on his back. He'll have to just reposition. Coming from a different avenue because if he loses the bomb there, the round's over. Yeah, Nico. Oh, he's gone through. He's made the sound cue. He wants them to get paranoid. And oh, oh. Olaf walks straight into the line of Amanek. That is surely enough said. Or oh, 25 seconds. Time will tell. They'll head towards B. Make a lot of footsteps here, but Nico what? has found the opening. Three versus two. He was running as well. They've got a plan here. They could very well take this. Gonna have to set Brokey up for success. It's not easy. Oh, it's a nice duel towards short. It is, but up close is this is the real threat, and he will acknowledge that. Clears it, and now he can focus his attention on short. That does eliminate Kenny S. So a 2v2, and perhaps even a 2v1 as Nexa walks straight into the crosshairs. It's just Hunter. Recovered kit. Could be a part of this one, but another shot hitting Brokey. Hasn't missed much over the course of this Mirage as he continues to line them up. He's on three. This could be the fourth. Jumped and exposed. However, no time. And this one will go FaZe Clan's way. Nico, just by virtue of the clock, converts the 19th. Usual battle for mid control, but this time there's four members of FaZe behind this battle. And they are not slowing down. They're going quick. And it, look at this reaction. Interesting from G2. They fall out of the A site. It may have just been a missed call. Because for now, Kenny returns to his his roost. I was going to say, you might want to climb up on towards CT, but he's showing a bit more of an aggressive stance. Sweeping all the way and actually catching Olaf Meister. Nico, he couldn't cover it because of the smoke. Kenny S might see the barrel here. If he swings up just a little bit more. Did he spot it? He seems to think so and takes down Brokey. Nice work. He's doing so much work for his team. Having his teammates on ramp enables him to take all of these fights. Finally, somebody silences him. It's called Zero who whips out the duct tape. Three versus two. Next up, he should have Cold dead to right there, but he's been spotted. Good duel for Cold to win. Cost him a lot of his health. Amanex heard that, definitely. Yeah, yeah he's checking B. Checks to rotate out, and no, he even gets the Ow. frag. Ow. He checks it. Gold's error was low. Did Amadek just spot I Nico? He, the way he started moving suggests he did, but oh. no, suggests he doesn't. <laughs> but uh, Nico, two versus one, bomb at about a halfway point. They have no utility apart from a decoy. He's going to swing out from the van, maybe preemptively. But they've touched the bomb at this point. You might just call it, yeah. Now he knows this one's going to be real. Jax is on the bomb. Is he? No care. I'm an ex off it. And he gets the shot, but Ooh, no kit. They win it. Nico, a one versus two. The frag onto Jax was all that he needed. That shouldn't be happening, but it's beautiful stuff from Kenny S. What a remarkable CT shift he's put in today. Yeah, everything he possibly can. Olaf's going to be so mad at that one. They're trying to go beat. Shots from the A site do clip rain on the way in. And Kenny, he can see the arm. 
Another frag, Brokey boosted. It means he knows where they're coming. The commitment's on its way. And Kenny, he is playing a sublime game of Counter-Strike today. Holding the line, misses his first, but oh. won't make the same mistake again. Looking for the ace. It's Kenny, yes, baby. He fights back and finds the 19th. This overtime continues. He's caught with his knife in his hand. He's got no armor, by the way. Not a single shred of it. Hits the quick scope, and let's watch oh, the other four. Fine. It's an ace on the glass cannon. Yes, that's a very good point. Hunter, I think he's safe. He is. Doesn't have to move. No sound cue. No issue. Oh, it touched. Oh, it did. And he's going to get finished off for it. Punished as the last second spread. Nico makes him dead. Well, they are hunting for map points here. FaZe just need one more. And Rain tucks himself in. Good for one. But still a four versus three in favor of FaZe here. And Nico, he's making... Very loud steps. Janiko does take one down, but Jax does neutralize. So bomb planted. Advantage perhaps starting to shift in G2's favor. I think you might be right here. Jax and Nexo, the bomb down. Both looking incredibly good today as well. All comes down to the timing of this one. Olaf Meister swings around and met by the AK-47 of Jax. Two versus two. Another remarkable recovery here. Could it actually happen? Cold Zero looking towards a jungle position. And he gets a lot more than he bargained for. They have done it once more, boys. G2 tie things up 20 to 20. This is almost do or die for FaZe Clan here. I have a feeling if they get bottomed out and they don't save any guns, this could be a G2 victory. A 3-0? Kick it off? That would be wild. They just It would actually be perfect. Just the way this game's gone down, they really would encapsulate the whole thing's not the double spray down. It will be for Coldzera. And they've taken so much damage, but still, they have the man advantage for now. Bomb planted. Kenny is alive this time. We said that's a huge factor. Looking toward the bomb site. Gets scored out by Olaf Meister. But Amanek and Nexter. Still can do this one. Olaf Meister tucks himself in. It's going to be enough here. And they've got a three versus one scenario it's with a smoke down. And the no kit on the diffuser right now. Hold on a second. Brokey nails the shot and confirms the victory. Damn. Oof. There was no other kits. That's the only way that was going to go down right there with Broke and Olaf surviving. Aggressive again. And Cold has found Jax. Rinse and repeat. Same flash, same frag. And an early advantage for FaZe. The rain doesn't want to let slip away, but he has. And a missed no-scope. Brokey panicking a little. Will find a safer line. It's a plan for them. And one's going around the world. Hunter's going for the big play. That could be a big part of this round still. So, but what? Keep your eye on the Kovac brothers or cousins. Pushing in. Oh. Amanek spotted and eliminated. Nico needs more though, and it's traded. Nexter was hiding. Olaf's got one. Keep your mind on Hunter. No one's defusing. Cole's got one, and Hunter, he gets the no. first, but doesn't get away. Has he got a kit? Picks it up. Has he got time? He's got up. And ladies and gentlemen, a long. Brutal journey, but FaZe Clan, they complete Mirage. 22 in the end, but they avoid the triple overtime and take their map pick. They'll play a lot of the car position. Currently, Olaf Meister occupies that spot. One smoke for the CT. And a flash to go. Nico waits for his cue. Two dropping down. That makes it very nerve-wracking. He can't focus his attention on ramp without risk of Jax finding him. It was actually all off to go down to Jax. And now from Pit, Rain's got a long-range duel. In fact, so many moving targets. He's overwhelmed. And the bombs will go down. Next is even in a prime... My goodness, look at this spot. Yeah, he can look forward oh. to anyone jumping up Xbox as well. Let's probably see that in a second. Coldzera checking everywhere, but unfortunately for him, next up in a very prime spot. But he does pull one back, a chance now. Bomb coming up to the halfway point. They have got a kit. They need to find very quick kills, though. Hunter, he's the one delivering. Yeah, I don't know what broke his plan is here. He's fallen off short and gone to rejoin Rain, but with the time completely gone, they have to accept that this one is going to be G2's pistol. Amanek the last to leave the site. And they will all preserve their maintained armor. A little bit of a kit as well for rain. And they're sending four over towards B. So I'm expecting G2 to show us the power of these skylights towards the B bomb sites. They're throwing a load of flashes over. Some smokes as well. But two players towards light. It's going to be a fast B split of those things here. Ooh. I love this. This looks really cool. Yeah, only cold and brokey to receive. But it's actually rain who can contribute. There's no CT smoke, interestingly enough. A flash from brokey assisting in both of those opening frags. Here they come. Flash and a peek. Kenny's happy to collect. But it's Cold Zero with a perfect lineup for the first two. Nex has been thrust into a one versus three. No reason to really challenge until that point. But ready and waiting. Nico will take him down from the window. And we will have the first round there for Faith. 
and he's actually smoked them off with a Molotov. Now they're gonna, woof, they lost a lot of health, but they've actually taken the AWPer down. This could be a disaster. There's oh, an AWP now yeah. in Nexa's hands, and he's looking to challenge Long. Olaf's a little ahead of the pack, but Nexa can take him down. Um, and Nexa residual, Krieg's found a frag, and Rain with a lovely one tap, refusing to quit just yet. Is that gonna be enough here? G2 started off with Glocks, no armor, no nades. And it's down to Nico. He didn't buy the helmet, but it might be saved at this point. Rain will get the penultimate frag, and Amanek, he's got the Kree. They can start the defuse at this point. And will they? They touch the bomb. Oh, they're not looking towards long. They now know it's a one versus one, and now can he get the defuse in? It should be absolutely fine, unless he runs up against a jump shot. Not gonna happen. FaZe bring back the round. Still very scary there. The AWP being taken out by Glock because he didn't have a helmet means it was an instant kill at range for the pistol. Oh, this is a great flash from Kenny here. Avoided by Cold. And close quarters, Brokey only gets the dink now. Perfect positioning, Cold can get another. The flashes keep coming over. Olof Meister enables that frag to essentially be for free. And now looking like a four versus two. What else have G2 got to say about this? I mean, a wide open A site, I'll say that much, but I believe the bomb is in their grasp on B. Nico's caught Hunter and Kenny, he's Still in the tunnel's position. Wants to. He normally would check the right. I'm almost certain of that. And there we go. Olaf Meister gets the kill. Doesn't fancy the orb, so they don't want a double orb setup, it would seem. Four players towards the upper tunnels. The bomb's there as well. Good flashman coming in. Brokey could have a brig spray down, and they're committing. They're going to run through the flames here. Brokey ready and waiting for the AK, and here it comes. Will he get the first kill? He jumps up, and it cost him his life for Cold Zera. So strong in his B bomb side now. They have the bomb down. And now, two versus three. Coldzera holds on as long as he can. Yeah, he did his very best. A round of wingman for G2 phase. And into the sight, the retake, not easy for Rain. Damage to Kenny, down to 29, but he can still function and he can still throw nades. What's happened there? The Molly, I think, yep, a second will come in. He just uses to push through it and he rushes his shots. Oh, this is chaos. And Olaf nearly has them both. Oh man, oh man. Lots of action about to go down. <laughs> yeah, poor old Rush has to make a choice, and he's got more on Nico. Does catch his cousin. Cold onto Nexa as well, and Cold's done it all. The B fake is now going to be the real B There's push. The Eight seconds. They can't even plan. It's over. Just like that, Jax and Kenny forced to keep hold of their weapons. They tried to panic and scarper away after the first frag from Nico, but Cold was the other one. It was a rock and a hard place scenario. Amanek has a lot to do here, and his teammates making their own pull short. Nico hasn't been show-stopping with the AWP so far. Will there be a trade more off? Apparently oh, not. Oh, Amanek was ready for it all. And just with a quick burst of frags, we see Brokey and Cold thinking about how they plan to save on B. So Cold Zera can find that opening kill. And if he gets Jax, that's the bomb. Oh, oh the timings. I feel like that was almost deliberate. Maybe, he like paused. Maybe. He wants to go for more. Calls that there could be action long. Olof goes and gives them the fight. So Kenny, he'll happily take the first opening frag. Now next to lining up for a CT smoke. How's that flank going? Cold Zera finally announces his presence. He wants to lock him in. A smoke perfectly plumes, and now the bomb is committed to long. They have no other choice if Cold survives. He has kind of locked them in there, hasn't he? Oh, there's a chance of another CT kill. It does come through, but it cost them rain. Nico now. Scout's oh. headshot takes out Kenny. That's going to be the first time he's bested him in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Doesn't he's one defending A now. Yeah, this is actually enough. I think Nico will be dropped here, no problem. And now they spotted him. So, so now, now he can get peeked outside of his crosshair. Yeah. Oh, wow. G2, they've played this to perfection. Amanek and Jax were so separated. They were locked in long. And regardless, G2 have managed to prevail in the end. A 2v2. I say prevail. It looks positive. Brokey's holding the line for this inquisitive peak, but Jax, he's not missing many, finds his sixth. Cold Zero on 16, but I think these ones are a little too far gone. Never mind, Jax, caught slipping. <laughs> Amanek not going to be spotted on that jump for info. That is, could be info in itself. Oh! All in all, FaZe Clan could be poised to do a whole lot better than Mirage. Starting with a bang as well, straight into the beast. side. What on earth? Rain, Nico, their backs were turned and Nexus just tapped them both. Finally, Brokey silences them, but I feel the damage is done. A three versus two. Chaos begins very early into the piece. Olof claws back and equalizes. Here comes Jax. Coming into the tunnels and Olof oh, nice to just destroys wow. him there. And now Hunter has to make this a one versus one, but Brokey will take care of business. Could be good too. Look at this. Four on the other side of this wall. He's been baited in by Jax as well, who just like keep firing his needle. Okay. Oh! After getting a beautiful headshot, I suppose, and now Hunter's on for two here. 
They're going to be focusing that Look at position. them. Look how many CTs are springing to action. Amonex on the corner. Kenny's keeping Amonex safe. Hunter, clean kill onto the first. The Nico, he could go down too. They were so distracted by Jax. They get the frag, but they keep on peeking. Brokey's managed to find a double. It's the same duo. You talked about how the impact they've had so far. They dug them out of the hole on the pistol round, and they've got to do it again. But they've got such little health. 42 health between the two of them. Nexa wins is now. The fact he's in lower B already. And he's going to hear footsteps of them coming forward. Oh, maybe not. He might not. If they walk now, he could be in trouble, which they are. Oh, God. Okay. If he beats them into tunnels, that's the key Yeah, here. he wins now. Like, he'll get the first kill. No problem. Okay, he keeps changing it. <sighs> Oh, the timing could be amazing. But Brokey, oh, oh, Brokey's going to assume it's clear. Oh, no! no. Ah, <gasps> Nexus! We That's are. so wild! Yeah, he's just going to completely no way, miss no him. No way, no he's way. He's going to completely miss <gasps> him. He's calling it clear. He's calling it clear. He'll hear, he'll hear the plant noise, and they won't expect him so close. Like, they won't expect him in dark already, right? Because they've just walked through yeah. there. Sure, sure. And maybe Nexus can still do a whole lot of damage here. He doesn't have armor, so worth mentioning, whoever pulls the trigger first in this exchange will likely win. There's no way. There's no way you expect this is a kill. Oh, of course you do if you're Brokey. His responsibility was tunnels. Now Kenny's making it all too clear where he's coming from. Leaping into the site. Brokey will hear it. He's only got a USP. I think Kenny might win this. Or lost on the bricks. Elevated above the smoke. And smart of him to reposition Kenny, however. He's only got the scout looking for... Oh, oh! And Kenny, yes! <laughs> he continues to impress. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Nine for G2. He fires his angle. Oh, I can see his shadow. It's a freebie. Not the way you want to approach that one, and down he goes. Lovely shot from Brokey. He really impressed me on Mirage. His orping was so fast. Jax, however, trying to nutmeg in this smoke, and it's a powerful position. He's just going to swing in. Nico's back's turned. G2, they're playing this so well. It's a joy to watch. Boy, no utility. Hello. Hi, that's the bomb. Nice to meet you. Nice. Cold wasn't ready for the second, but it looks like Olaf was. Okay, 50 health. Smart to not lose his health in the molly because he's on for a 1v2. He's going to go tons. He can maybe get the bomb down if Kenny doesn't hit the shot. Oh, Olaf, he's realized he hasn't got time for anything. <laughs> yeah, he's not got anything to do now apart from save. Interesting smoke chosen to be thrown by Nico that enables them to get past the window position. No one challenging just yet. Amanek now spotted, and oh, what a shot from Caldera. One more of those, and they've got the Hello. B site. Hello, FaZe Clan. With just Deagles, B site is theirs. They'll take the AKs. They'll likely take the round. Look at G2. They're cowering. Oh, B. Quick one. Flash play. Oh, you got to catch Nexa with uh -oh. the smoke in his hand here. Good nade. And a good follow up from Nexa. It's going to be the first kill that's his. Now, Hunter. So good today. Always seems to find multiple kills out of nowhere. Doesn't catch Nico on the cross. Gives up his position. Nico, very low HP. That nade's going to catch him. He's great. definitely he's dead. Yep, that's a dead Nico. Perfect. And they just contest. They want to fight right now. They will not let you set up. But oh. Brokey, he nearly keeps them at bay. The wolf, however, prevails. And with a half and a puff, Kenny finds the final frag. 14 for G2. <laughs> Jack's jumping for the info. He does spot the bomb on that jump. So now the CTs, they know exactly what's going down. Molotov and frags. Okay, step one complete. Kenny now has to deal with a lot here. And a missed shot could come back to haunt him. They're going to catch him through the smoke. Now Hunter, as it fades. Oh, Cold's got another. Nexus, they're responsible for the cross. But with a strong arm, they throw it across. This is a safe call right here. Oh, it's the fast mid from phase here. I don't, I don't mind this. It's showing a bit of confidence now. But it's a three. Or is that four man B stack? Four man There are four stack. players in oh, the B. And they might what even kind hit of call it. is that? What is this? They're going for it. Double push into tons. Oh, well, well. They get the first. Another from Nexa. Brokey to stabilize. But I think phase might be working this one out. He sees the barrel and finds the frag. Rain puts a couple of bullets towards Amanex position. Keeps him on his toes. Two still in the B site. Brokey with the bomb. He cannot afford to lose this. Now Rain, uh-oh, uh-oh. Shooting his toes. And he oh! still gets the frag. Oh, that's a huge frag. That's a contributing factor. They could very well turn this around now. Oh, here he's we pushing. go. I can't believe he's pushing. Oh, no, no Nico knows this. Oh! Oh! oh, no! That's an awkward one. They'll be talking about that over the Christmas dinner table. Now Brokey, he's got a 1v2. No way. Nico looked like he the did everything. The best off angle. The edge of the smoke. And he fluffs his lines. Brokey's got a clutch now at such a crucial juncture of the game. This is his first Binks. shot. Oh, dear. Hunter only needs to hit one bullet. Oh. And Brokey does the first. Jax's dunk is there. 15 found first by G2. So down towards short. All of my step. A little bit late towards long. But the flashbangs are there. Oh, he hasn't got the frag. That's really falling apart for him. 
story of his game. Eight kills. Yeah, that could be that, the last. That, that was a guaranteed frag, if you ask me. And it doesn't work out. Committed to the spray a bit too much. Same mid smokes. Perfect flash. They're looking to hit this site again, and Coldzera has already found Amanek, so Hunter has to be the hero. And the spray's not there, Coldzera! That's his dirty 30, 30 plus one as Hunter goes down. Nico, however, will be forced to watch as this final round of regulation does play out. It's a forced retake. They've got no other option. Yeah, but there's no utility on the T side here. They actually have quite the advantage on the T2 side. Sure, it's a three versus three at B, but the oh. fact they have no flashes might be enough here. We'll see Kenny S take down Cold Zero up to Brokey. Has to be very quick towards our window position. The second CD player coming in from the tunnels itself. They have got a kit. The timing is oh. everything, and Brokey looks away at the worst possible time. But Rain, he has all the HP advances. Nails the first shot. Needs to look at the floor here. There's no diffuse kit available. Jax, has he done enough? Oh. Apparently not. We're going to overtime. Rain comes to life in round number 30 to save the day. Base clamp with 30 seconds remaining. They've cracked open the site here. That's towards Long. That great position we saw Jackson before towards the corner. That's where he was again. Kenny S going to be tested here towards Long ears. And now where the flash comes come through. The shot's first and Cold Zera will get his second frag of the round. 34 in total now. Double smoke on the crossover. CT's with two players towards Shaw. They've got kits. Basic utility, but a five on three. Do they fancy it? No, they must be so sick of saving at this point. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Now Nexa, he's proving exactly that. He decides to take matters into his own hands. Hunter can find an easy duel here. Nico, lucky to be alive, inflicting equal damage to one another. Reigns finished the job, and there's another one on the corner. Hunter's low. Nice work. Amonex the last of four, and FaZe, their first round on the T side, no less. Someone to drop into his line of sight. Now Rain in support. I think the round's already over before a kill's even begun, because if Nico just walks in here, it's a guaranteed frag. Yep. And, and the bomb's over. already positioning in tons. And there we have it. That's an 18 and 15 scoreline, unless this most miraculous of retakes happen. It would take phase throwing it now. Everyone getting really happy, celebrating prematurely. <laughs> Taking their hands now. off the mouse and keyboard. Yeah, that, that's what it would take for this sort of scenario. <laughs> Let's see. First. And the second cold, not missing much today. 38 frags. Oh, and Brokey. I thought it was rain for a second. There it is. That's 18, ladies and gentlemen. One away for FaZe Clan's Magic 19, and they head to the defense. A flash from his teammate does enable him to tie and tuck into the site, and he will. Oh, there's pressure from everywhere. G2, they plan to go for the 3-2 split. They've got themselves up short. They've got long. And here they come straight away, Olofmeister, drive by from Nexa, a gap spotted, and Nico, he punishes the first, Rain wants another bite of the cherry, oh this is gonna be good, here it comes, Anelia a double, it, it he gets both! It should be done here Alex, one oh, minute remaining, no. three versus one, and Kenny S just with a sniper here. One versus three. You'd have to get the bomb down, a couple of kills. I mean, this frag onto Nico is where it begins, but I have a horrible feeling that Brokey's in such a prime position to trade. That's it. It's all done. FaZe Clan, they take it 2-0. Dust2 is theirs. They take G2's map pick and the series. They needed that one.